Dr. K here. A question which has come up quite a lot recently is the issue of the sustain pedal. Now, camera person, if you come around here, the sustain pedal is, is down here. Now, this Yamaha upright piano has got three pedals. The sustain pedal is that one there. And when you press the sustain pedal, obviously I'm not wearing any shoes. I hope no one's... Uh, I'm uh, deeply offended. You're offended? Yes. Okay. No one else is. Okay, so when I press the sustain pedal... What happens, camera person, you described to well, me? Well, it kind of has a vibrate, doesn't it? Well, not, not so much a vibrate, but for example... And then with it... So what's it the difference in the sounds? It, it just kind it, of carries yeah, on. It carries on. It makes it, it makes it more sort of, to use a technical term, legato, which means kind of like a smooth style of playing. And the, re the question is, should you use the sustain pedal with a boogie woogie? And there's a very, very simple answer, and the answer is... Probably no. There's no question about it. The answer is no. I didn't think it sounded great. Uh, because Boogie Woogie is a percussive style. It's meant to be short, sharp, and staccato. And by using a... Uh, I mean, for example, uh, let's, let's do the chop, you know. It sounds cool, yeah. Now with the sustain pedal, it would sound like this. No, absolutely no sustain pedal with boogie woogie. So the answer, do you use sustain pedal with boogie woogie? No. If you need the sustain pedal for something, you're going you're to muddy it because it's completely um, antithetical to the whole boogie woogie style. Uh, the sustain pedal would be appropriate, for example, if you're playing Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata and you want that very smooth feel, you know. I'm using the sustain pedal now. And also, if you do use a sustain pedal, a little hint for those of you who are doing classical music, don't muddy the keys. If you play the piano music of Debussy, who is a kind of modern classical French composer back, back in the 90s, Debussy's music has a lot of sustain pedal because it creates these kind of tonal, um, this kind of muddy, watery sound. And the certain styles of piano like Debussy are based on around the sustain pedal, but for boogie woogie and that percussive staccato style, no sustain pedal. Perhaps if you do um, a stride piano, you might want to do a little bit of sustain pedal because if you come in here, cam camera person to the right hand, you know, if you're doing stride piano to the left hand and you're kind of jumping like this, you know, you could perhaps put a little, you know, just a little bit of sustain pedal when you play the lower note so it's not too broken but overall when you're playing kind of true pure boogie woogie no sustain pedal so i hope you found this lesson interesting for those of you who've been wondering about how to use a sustain pedal in boogie woogie the answer is you don't and as always make sure you share this lesson on google plus make sure you connect with me on google plus make sure you've joined the dr k boogie community on facebook and that you're posting videos of yourself playing it's a safe and supportive community to get your performance skills up to date and i will talk to you soon